Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. Please bear five, wave, or smile to your neighbor. We ask that you please silence your phone and prepare to your heart to celebrate the sacred liturgy. Today's second collection is for the Black and Indian missionary. Because God cares for us, we have the courage to confess our sin. Let us give thanks for this time of Lenten blessings. Our celebrant this morning is Father John Peter. Please stand. <clears throat> We join the sin and prayer. We stand before you. shall receive the basket from you and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord your 
God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God. My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But there he became a, group, a nation great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. He brought us out of Egypt with his strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and bringing us into this country, he gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you the first fruits of the products of the soil, which you, O Lord, have given me. And having set them before the Lord your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The word of the Lord. And so is justified, 
and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. For the scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, to guard you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said in reply, It is also says, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And the devil had finished every temptation. He departed from him for a time. Sisters and brothers, in the gospel of the Lord. We want to thank you and welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. So nice to see everybody's face without a mask. And a smile, of course. Today, the first day of Lent, I mean the first Sunday of Lent, reminds us about the, the wonderful gift that the Lord provides. It's a great season. It's a great season because it is going to be a moment of grace. Days of loving, days of being grateful to God for the gift of life and faith. As we heard today's scripture reading, it's all about how people of Israel were and how you and I need to be the people of God and how we need to have the courage and the strength to fight against all evil. Temptations are everywhere. Even Jesus was an example. He took the right way, right weapon to fight it. Now it is your turn and my turn to 
fight the right way. No matter what, no matter what you do, no matter who you are, you face temptation every single moment. Even sitting here, your temptation, oh, I have to meet, I have to do this, I have to, your mind is all over. When you get time, it's so hard. It's almost feel like, I have to do this, I have to do this. No, first thing first, I am here with the Lord, my Savior, my God, I got to do this. It takes courage, that's why the second reading talks about, it is in the name of Jesus, we have the power to do it. So maybe when you are distracted, when you have such moments at work or at home or whatever, wherever you are, you got to give yourself affirmation. In the name of Jesus, I commend you out. This body, this head, this mind is under the leadership of my Savior, Jesus Christ. I got to do this. Devil, you are out. Maybe we need to say those often. Like Jesus said, Satan, you are out. You have no place here. The beautiful temptation that Jesus had to face also, you know, beautifully um, explained by Sigmund Freud. The ego, super ego. It's like the faces of life. When you are a child, you're so much into pleasure, right? Your mom, when you're hungry, you immediately need a food, and when, when whoever gives you food will be your, your best friend. That's pleasure. Unfortunately, that's not just infants. Even when you grow up, whoever you know feeds you, whoever gives you easy money, whoever helps you have easy things or easy going, just go with that. Just just go with the flow. Just pleasure. Just be happy. We go to that phase of life. The next phase is about power. Okay, who has got the power? Who has got more money? Who has got the big status? Unfortunately, that's the next phase. That hasn't stopped. And the third one is, do you know who you are? The devil was saying to Jesus, you are the son of God. You got the power. I know it. Even the angel can come and take care of you. Come on, let's do it. That's going to come to you. Do you know who you are? Do you know what background you are? Do you know what is your power? Do you know? That kind of your ego. Because remember my definition of our ego? E-G-O. Hedging God out. <laughs> you become the soul person. When you are alone, you know where we end up. That's why we need to go with Remember this beautiful story about a young couple got married having two children. This man has a good gradu graduated very well, but he's looking for a job. He's you know taking a job here and there, but finally he got an interview and he was selected. But then, you know, he was given a task. Well, we're gonna give you a job, but one condition. We are having a ship, a ship is coming, and then shipment is coming, that's about a hundred thousand worth of, you know, goods coming. But we want you to write only 60,000 is coming. Take that deal, you get a job. You have 24 hours. I really needed the job, I'm looking for it. My kids are hungry, we don't have a place to stay, and I have to pay the bills, and I really needed the job. Lord, why do you put me to test? He comes home. He tells the wife, honey, you know what? I got the job. That's the good news, but the bad news is they're asking me to give a wrong report. Instead of 100,000, they're asking me to do 60,000. And so, wife and, you know, himself holding hands and praying and crying. I really needed the job to help my family. But I cannot let my God down. I cannot do this. And the honey said, and the wife said, yes, I need your life. Yes, we cannot do it. We cannot do it because it's going to hurt you a long time. It's going to hurt you. So they prayed over all night long. Although they, they needed the job, although it's going to be helpful to them, although they're going to, financially, they're going to be okay. They prayed overnight. They thought about it, thought about it. Next day, he went back to the office and he goes, sir, I love the job I really was looking forward to. Unfortunately, I can't 
cannot break my conscience or break my, my God and my belief down. I decline, I cannot do this wrong box report. I'm sorry. Give us your tears. Thank you for the opportunities. I walk out. Everybody in the room watching him. Wow. This is the guy that we are looking for. They got up and clapped hands. This was the test. We did a great job. We got the job. No matter what, no long report. Sisters and brothers, temptation does not come in an ugly form. Always comes in a fancy form. This is going to take care of you. This is going to do this for you. This is going to be easy for you. Because we live in a culture. Easy. Money. Rapido, rapido. In God's, in God's house, it does not work that way. Jesus had the power to make the stone into bread. But he didn't want to use it. No. You know how food is grown. That's a process. That's the process. As a child, how do we grow? Little by little. Little by little. As toddlers and infants and adults, and now we are grown up. We don't grow overnight. I always say this to young people. Whatever is hard doesn't come easy. Whatever is easy, doesn't last long. Think about it. So we pray today for the power of the Spirit of God to help us to deepen our faith and we might be able to be strong in our faith because when it comes to the matter of faith it is you are not alone. Your God is with you. Your God is angels with you. And you got the power got the power to say, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to do it. That's why we wear the rosary, we wear the bracelet. It's not for fancy thing, hello. And you hold on, Jesus, please help me. You hold on, the rosary or the crucifix, whatever it is, you're going to say, Jesus, I'm having a hard time, please help me. I'll conclude with this little story about a teacher. I know for sure, we have a lot of teachers in our community um, and people who work for maybe our friend and the hospitals and stuff. Sometimes your coworker or your students would be like pain in some place that you don't want, right? You don't know how to handle it. So you kind of put the test every day. You don't know how to handle it. This particular teacher has problem with this John. Always trouble with it, right? Always, anything, no matter what, the kid is really, really uh, too much trouble. So what does she does every day? She comes to class five minutes before, and then she takes a piece of paper, starts shorthand writing. It's all writing. Johnny will walk in, teacher, what are you doing? I'm writing, I'm making prayer. You're praying? What is that? I don't see that. I cannot understand. It's a shorthand. Oh, do you think God will understand shorthand? Oh, he does. See, so she gets on writing. When she finished one day, she got distracted. She left the paper over there. She went to do something else. That's what Johnny did. He grabbed that paper and put it in his pocket. And he just left it and he forgot it. Later on, he grew up, became a huge uh, business, successful businessman. Something happened. He remembered what happened in the classroom. Went back to his old files, looked at paper, the shorthand still he cannot understand. So he took it to the office and then can you please read what it is? He says, Jesus, I thank and bless you for my troublesome student, Bill. No matter what I do, it does not calm him down, it does not help him, but I see he's a great kid. He has great potential. I think, Jesus, I need courage. For me to be a better teacher. Help this kid and me to get through this day. Amen. The teacher did not react to the student, kick him out, report him to the principal, do this, do that. She tried with the right person. She was able to get through that class, and the kid was able to get through the class. 
And now he's a successful man and he's reading it completely smoked with tears. Sisters and brothers, temptations everywhere. Let us fight the right way. Let's have Jesus as part of our promotion. And everything that we do and say. Jesus won over the desert. Jesus won over the devil. You can do as well. We can do as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand for the prayer. I believe in one God. Especially for Bill Heifel, Sammy LaRosa, Ivan Dinas, Ricardo Bowman, Gentleman Pobora, Virgilio Cabana, and Elizabeth Acevedo, for whom this Mass is offered. May the good Lord grant them mercy, forgiveness, and full blessings in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, see our love for you. And hear our plea. Be with us always as we call to you to be our refuge, our fortress. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you food of the wine work of human hands. It will become for us a spiritual thing. Praise, sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make this offering, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable sacred time through Christ our Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere we give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from the earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, how does to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast, and so with a company of angels and saints, we sing a hymn of your praise as without end we are playing. Passion, 
He took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Mighty our Bishop, and all the clergy. Bless it up with the intentions of all of your children, especially we lift our hearts for Roberto Medina. Remember your servants, Bill Highfield, Sami La Rosa, Ivan Dimas, Ricardo Woman, Jinlen, Povero, Virgilio, Cabana, and Elizabeth Acevedo, whom you have called from this world of your son. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, St. Bernadette, our praise on us, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in heaven, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold the name who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Body and blood of Christ be the same for his own. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
make use of the prayer of the screen at this time for your adoration and thanksgiving to God our Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope is increased, and charity is strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread. Inside to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please follow the name of blessing. <clears throat> May your bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption is assured through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. As we, a missionary discipleship community, growing in many ways, I wanted to you know, join me uh, with joy welcoming Maria Chandon as one of our department employees. She would be a great addition to our community to take us some of the long way in ministry that we got to do or address here in Bernadette. So she's going to talk about it. So please welcome Maria Chandon. So excited. <laughs> I'm nervous. March 1st, 1985, I started my first day on my new job with the Catholic Church. Last Tuesday, March 1st, 2022, exactly 37 years to the day, I started my new job here at St. Bernadette's. I'll be helping Father John Peter and some of the new and some of the other ministers, but also I'll be starting some new ministries here. One of them will be the separate divorce widow and singles group. So if you um, fit into that category, please don't hesitate to contact me. We'll be starting that up fairly soon, maybe within a month or so. Um, and also, if, if there are any weddings that need to be planned, if there's any marriages that need to be validated. If there are any moments to be made, please contact me also. Um, I'll be having my office hours on Sundays and Fridays starting March 20th. And I want to hear from you. I want to know what your needs are. If you know of anybody who's away from the church or has questions, even if they're non-Catholic, uh, if you have questions, please come and see me. I'm listening, and St. Bernadette is also listening. They want to hear your voice. So starting next Saturday, St. Bernadette will be holding their Synod listening sessions. They will be listening to you. The, the sessions consist of five questions that will be spread out within the next three weeks, starting March uh, 13th and March 20th and March 27th will be those days after Mass. So I'm urging you to stay and go to those sessions. 
you can make a difference in this church. St. Bernadette's is listening. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Please pray for me as I pray for you. God bless you all. Mary and Chadburn, welcome again. As you can see, our community is excited to begin this new ministry because we have an address. There's a lot of hurt feelings and people are just carrying so heavy. And as a priest, I have only a few hours. I can't, I can't address or meet with everyone. So uh, that's why God sent people and uh, people like Mary and Chadburn right now. So we're going to do uh, many more things, especially I want you to listen to this. Starting from next week, we gonna do our synod session. When we do the mass, everybody's listening to God's word. Guess what? God wants to listen to you. That's what this synod is all about. Where is our church right now? Where do we need to go? Whether good or bad doesn't matter, but we want to hear from you. So, next week onwards, my homily will be shot, I promise. So we're gonna get the mass in 35 minutes. We're going to take our rest of the 25 minutes and add plus like 15 minutes more. We have one question next four weeks. Everybody's going to be part of this dinner. Amen for that? <laughs> Thank you, I heard it. So next week, two views will be one group. So just one question. I'm not going to bombard you with many questions. Please take it easy. I love that a long time ago. Because you are hungry, you got to go take care of your... You know, with your breakfast, your da 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 so many things. So, I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to help you do some Lenten penance. So, we're going to do, uh, right after Mass, we're going to do our standard session so that as a family, everybody is part of it. It helps our community, St. Bernadette, it helps our diocese, and it helps the entire Universal Catholic Church. So, you're going to be a great, great co worker in the missionary discipleship family. Amen? Yeah. We stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God, we ask you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the love of Christ to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. Amen.